Previously on my channel, the booktube rut. But I also feel as though there will be a shift in the booktube community. T. An awesome place to connect with people with your same interests. The best community on YouTube, and it's not even biased. And I don't want to let them down either. Hey guys, it's Julia, and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm going to be doing my second part in my booktube rut series. So the first video called, titled The Booktube Rut, was basically a collab and it talked about, it was a discussion collab, there we go. And it talked about some things um, related to a certain topic in terms of booktube. And for today's video, well, first off, I just wanna say thank you for the amazing feedback on it. I really appreciate it. But I want to discuss today um, how much booktubers should be reading. And I remember when I first started my channel, well, at the very beginning, like when I first got into my groove, I was reading 25 books a month. And now I'm reading, like the last few months, I've only been reading a few books a month, which feels really weird to me. And I know a lot of people don't read 20 books a month and some people do. And I kind of want to get both perspectives and see like, is it like, should we really be focusing on quantity? Like I know some people read mediocre books just for the sake of like reading seven books for a readathon, or they will finish a book that they're currently reading even though they're hating it just so they can add it to their Goodreads challenge. And then there's that whole Goodreads challenge. You know, December's creeping up on us, the new year's coming. So it's like, everyone's gonna be setting that challenge now. So what are you guys gonna be setting your challenge to? Um, in the past years, I've set it to 50. And then when I hit 50, I set it to 100. Um, but what are you guys gonna be doing? I know some people set it to one and then they don't feel pressure but are some people gonna be really strict about the goal? Probably. The thing about reading more is you get so many more stories, so many more experiences that you experience through books. But the cons like, the months that I've read three books, I can obviously remember in detail what happened in all those books more than I could what happened in all the 20 books that I've read, which is kind of just a given and a memory thing. And do you think that maybe when we're reading so so many books like 20 books a month and you read that one five star reading there do you think you really get to appreciate it when you're jumping to the next read right after or that kind of thing is what i wanted to talk about so today i've included some people in this video who are going to give me their thoughts and opinions on this topic and thank you so much to them for participating um i will have them linked down below so i hope you enjoy the video and their thoughts and make sure to let me know your thoughts down below as well Hey guys, my name is Brit from the booktube channel Basically Brit and I've been making videos for over three years now and it all started out because I just absolutely loved reading books and I wanted to talk about books. And you know, when I started booktube, I sometimes read over 10 books a month and just like an average of like five to 10 books, which was just amazing. Unfortunately, over the years, I just came to the conclusion that I just can't read that much anymore. I have a lot of work to do for university and just for my job itself, which means that I'm reading fewer books a month, which also means that my wrap-ups are not as big and sometimes I just don't really have a lot of books to talk about on my booktube channel. But in my opinion, that is just totally okay because booktube is for readers whether you read 10 books a month or just one book a month or one book every two months you are more than allowed to make booktube videos and when i think back of just the beginning of booktube and just seeing how many books people read on booktube i also felt like i had to read that many books in order to you know make videos on youtube and i thought that otherwise people didn't really want to watch my booktube videos so sometimes if i was not enjoying a book i would just like work my way through it and just really skim it to you know add a book to my goodreads goal and to add a book to my read list to make sure that i just read an extra book but now after a couple of years i was just like why do i do that if i'm not enjoying a book just DNF it, really, what does it matter that you don't finish a book and that you can't add another book to your red shelf? Because it is definitely not about the quantity of books, it is about the quality. I would much rather take my time with one amazing book and just read one book a month than read five crappy books that I'm not really enjoying. Because life is too short to read crappy books. And for example, I can also think about a couple of questions like, am I reading enough? Well, I'm definitely reading enough. I wish I could read more, but I just have a lot of work to do. So the time that I do get to read is good enough for me. And whether that means I finish one book a month or five books, it's totally okay because I would much rather just read fun, amazing books that I'm just enjoying instead of just working my way through as many books as possible to have like a massive wrap up. And yes, we all know that big wrap ups attract a lot of viewers, but you know, that's okay. The people here on booktube are so nice anyways and they will always support you no matter how many books you read. So in my opinion, really just read the books you want to read. Don't feel pressured to read a certain amount of books. I personally would never do that. 
now. When I was younger, I did. I was like, oh no, I have to reach my Goodreads goal, but now I just don't care anymore. I put my Goodreads goal on one book and I reached it within a week and I was so happy and now it's just like, oh, there's no burden on my shoulders whatsoever. So now I'm really just enjoying the books that I'm reading at the moment and I really do not feel pressured to read a lot. I'm still a reader, even though I don't read as much as I did, but just know that no matter how many books you read, you are a reader, you are a booktuber, and you are more than welcome on this lovely bookish community. Hi folks, I'm Natasha from the channel My Reading Is Odd, and I'm going to talk to you guys today about the quantity of books and what that means in the scope of booktube and as readers. Am I reading enough? Now, I am in the mind frame that as long as you're reading something, whatever pace that is, you are a reader. <laughs> how many books do I need to be reading in a month? to be a valid booktuber. Again, as long as you're reading something, great. Um, booktube is made up of a lot of people who read 20 books in a month, 10 books in a month, and sometimes one book in a month. And all of those people are okay, and all those people's opinions about books are valid. You know, if you are reading one book a month and you feel like that's not enough, then just know that you have an endless possibility of things to talk about. You can talk about things that you've read in the past, things that you want to read, the way that reading enriches you. There's so many different topics that you can talk about in booktube that aren't just here's the 20 books I read. For, for me personally both are valid. Um, I typically read about 10 to 15 books a month which is a lot and some people consider that a lot. Um, that is just the pace that I read books given my lifestyle, when I choose to read. I make it a hobby of mine. I make it a choice to read as well. But you know it doesn't matter as long as you're reading a book that's fine. And if you want to come on camera and talk about books in a video format and post it on YouTube, then you are a booktuber. So yeah, don't ever worry about how many books you're reading in a month in comparison to someone else. Comparisons are just ugly anyway. So just you do you, read whatever books you'd like to read at whatever pace you're reading them at, and uh, talk about them if you want, and you are a booktuber. <laughs> Do you read mediocre books for the sake of quantity? I am a mood reader, so I will grab whatever interests me at the time, and if it's not doing it for me, I put it down and go, okay, this is not my time to read this book. If it's truly something that I hate, that I don't think is good, then no, I typically don't finish it. Um, occasionally I'm known to just skim it, just to kind of get the gist of it, so that I can talk about it in a way that makes it sound like I've actually read the entire book. I don't, I don't typically like to judge books books or rate books on Goodreads unless I've finished them to some degree and so if I'm looking to rate it and not just put it down then um, I will skim it just to kind of get the gist of the rest of the story. But in terms of reading mediocre books just to get that number up, no. <laughs> read whatever you want whether that is you know a good book or a bad book sometimes it's fun to read bad things or label th books that are labeled as bad um but again it's whatever your mood suits right so if i want to do that then i will i want to read books that i know i'm gonna like <laughs> life's too short to read bad books all the time right so just read whatever you think you're gonna like that's my suggestion and then lastly i'm just going to discuss some pros and cons in terms of reading 20 books in a month versus reading three or whatnot i find again as long as you are absorbing what you're reading at whatever pace that you're reading it then great if you can read 20 books in a month and absorb all that information and remember what the books are about great do it why not right um same thing if you want to read three there's certain months that i read a little bit slower or different genres that i actually read a little bit slower just so that i can fully grasp <laughs> the information that's being handed to me so that i can retain it i read at a fairly fast pace myself i think and a lot of the times i will forget what i read so i have to sort of train myself to read a little bit slower read a little bit more um, critically sometimes and just sort of take it a little bit slower. I actually really appreciate it when people have clear concise opinions about the books that they've read. So really that's all that's important to me as both a booktuber and someone who watches a lot of booktube. So yeah my overall thoughts is quantity of books does not matter as long as you're reading something. What you're reading does not matter as long as you're enjoying it and read at whatever pace makes you comfortable. <laughs> so yeah, I do hope you guys like my opinion and thank you, Julia, for including me in this video. Um, I'm excited to see what everyone else has to say. Bye. I'm Allie from Hardback Quarter and let's just say that the person I was when I started BookTube 
is definitely not the person that I am today. It's been three years of learning how to not give a fuck. The problem with booktube and just being on YouTube in general is that we all seek a little bit of validation. So many people out there doing so many other things. They read more than us. They buy more books than us. Their aesthetic is more pleasing than ours. Things like that can really bog you down. One of the big questions that I feel like is constantly coming up is the validation of being a reader, especially whenever you watch booktube because so many people are reading so many books. They're doing all these readathons and they're finishing seven, eight, nine books in a week. Their Goodreads challenges are set at a hundred at the beginning of the year. And there you are wondering, oh, how am I gonna read a hundred books? How, how am I gonna read seven books in a week? That's impossible. I have a life, I have a job. It doesn't mean that these people don't. It doesn't make you any less of a reader. The problem is that you're just facing all of this, all these people that are doing all this and it just makes you feel kind of shitty. The thing with booktube is that it can be really great because you find this community who loves books. They love talking about books. The problem is that sometimes we do it too much. I'm not saying it's a bad thing if you read 20 books a month. Good for you, I've done it before. Why do it now? Oh no, oh no. I thought that reading 20 books a month would make me a better booktuber, but at the end of the year, I couldn't remember half the books. Yeah, I'm not very good at remembering things. You gotta find your comfort zone. And so what? If someone reads 20 books a month and you read one, was it one really fantastic book? You're doing good. You're doing great. The thing with being classified as a reader is that you don't need to seek validation from everyone else. You need to seek it from yourself. If you consider reading a hobby, you are a reader. I don't care if you read one book a year. If you consider it a hobby that you enjoy, you are a reader. You could be a booktuber or just a reader that reads maybe three really fantastic things in a month and you do some deep in discussion videos on those, I couldn't do that on the 20 books that I read in a month. It's not gonna happen. And booktube is more about the authenticity of your videos and the entertainment level of your videos more than it is about how much you're reading or what you're reading. It's about how you talk about those things and it's just the way you present it. I think the problem too with booktube is that we get caught up in reading books that we don't really like. So many people are reading these books and they're reading about these books so then you sit down and read it Say you pick up Six of Crows because everyone talks about Six of Crows. You pick up Throwing a Glass because everyone talks about Throwing a Glass. And then you sit down and read it. You force yourself to read it even though you don't like it because that's what everyone else is talking about. That tends to be a problem on booktube that I've seen a lot is that we hype up these books so much and we shun people who don't like them and it doesn't make any sense. Just let people read what they want to read. Let them enjoy what they want to enjoy. If you don't like a book, it's okay to DNF it. It's okay. I'm giving you permission to DNF it. It's so liberating when you start to DNF books. You don't have time to read shit books. Let's be honest. And when there's so many other fantastic books out there waiting for you and you don't have to read the most popular things on booktube, chances are if it's so popular and everyone's talking about it, you're going to get the gist of it anyway. You're going to figure out the jokes. You're not, you don't need to be excluded from booktube because you haven't read a popular series. Find a series that you do like and that people are talking about. Or make your own video about how fantastic a series is. Get a small following behind it. You'd be surprised how many people are going to jump on a book based on your recommendation. And how many people are going to want to talk to you about it because you recommended it. There is no validation. You make your channel. You make the rules. That's what's great about it. This sounds like some really cheesy thing that should be like written on mugs or something and handed out. That was me spewing. Thanks, Julia, for having me on the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jay from the channel Captured in Words. On my channel, I make various types of videos related to book fantasy, fantasy books. Specifically, I mainly read adult, like, high-end epic fantasy. Some videos you'll commonly see on my channel include in-depth reviews, lore, and theory videos. First off, thank you, Julia, for having me on your channel. Now, am I reading enough? I feel like this is a question that a lot of booktubers and a lot of people that watch booktube have asked themselves. Now, I feel like there's sort of a trend or idea on booktube that you should be reading X amount of books in a month. After all, YouTubers are influencers, and I feel like a lot of people get influenced by booktube 
YouTubers that they see reading a large mass of books in a month. And I know even for myself, when I first made my channel like three years ago, I was influenced by a lot of booktubers and I thought I should be reading that amount of books. And this caused kind of a reading fatigue for me, and to be quite honest, I almost quit making booktube videos. And at this time, I wasn't having fun making videos either. I was making a lot of book hauls and book tags and stuff that you see a lot on booktube, which I think do have value. Obviously, people like to watch those, but I just don't really enjoy making those videos. So, sort of like Cam from Wolfshop Publishing mentioned in Julia's previous video, shout out to him, you guys should definitely check out his channel. But like Cam, I came to a point where I knew I wanted to change the videos I was making, and in doing so, this also changed my reading habits. So I've kind of become a slower reader, but I'm really enjoying the books I've been reading. I just don't have any need to read 20 books in a month. I wasn't having fun cramming a bunch of books into a month, and I wasn't taking in the content as well. And to be honest, I kind of feel like this is common on booktube. Not to put down YA as a whole, I've read a lot of young adult books that I think are amazing, but I also think there's just a lot of bad ones out there that get really overhyped. And I'm just gonna put it out there, but I think part of this could be because people read them so fast, they don't notice a lot of the bad quality. And the thing is, there is no license to be a booktuber. There's no qualifications other than that you have a passion for reading. You don't need to read a certain amount of books. Somebody can literally love one series and make videos on that series and be called a booktuber. This is just a fun community to talk about books. You don't need to read 20 books in a month. And I think one of the things is that people want to feel validated like they are part of the community, but I just don't think you should really care. You should just read the books you want to read and read the amount of books you want to read. And you don't need to question if you're valid or not. Everyone is valid. I feel like it's also quite common to read a lot of awful and mediocre books just so that you can add that to your Goodreads. And to me, it's more about the quality. I think, I think that's, I think that's a little bit more important. Now, as for the pros and cons of reading 20 books in a month compared to three books a month, the pros for reading 20 books is that you can knock down your TBR pile and say you've read a lot of books. But if you read only three books in a month, I feel like you're able to absorb a lot more and take a lot more out of a book. You can take your time to enjoy the book you're reading, maybe look at some of the themes and symbols, and form a more solid opinion for when you do put up reviews or make a video. Plus, you don't have to be restricted to the type of book that you're reading. Whereas, for the cons of reading 20 books, you kind of have to restrict yourself to reading shorter books and books that are more fast-paced. You might also miss a lot of red herrings and foreshadowing if you're trying to rush through a book. Which, by the way, I don't think I've ever read 20 books in a month. If you're able to do that and still enjoy a book and take a lot out of it, then keep doing you, but I, I don't really want to do that. So yeah, overall, I don't think reading should be about the quantity of books that you read, but more so the quality and how much you're enjoying and taking out of a book. Anyway, that has been my rant. And hey, feel free to follow me on social media. Maybe, maybe check out my channel. I would, I would recommend it it's good. I also just opened up a Discord server dedicated to readers. There's different channels for, like, spoiler chats, as well as just book recommendations and, and general chatting and merriment. So if you'd like to make some friends and join in on the conversation, the link to that will be on my channel. Thank you again, Julia, for having me on your channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you again to the participants. Um, I really appreciate all of them taking part, and... Yeah, part three is coming in December, so look forward to that if you care. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Let me Please let me know your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this discussion and maybe some things that you're going to be going into the new year with. Like your, Maybe you're going to have a new perspective on reading in the new year or like a new goal in the new year. Let me know what it's going to be. And I'll th thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye! Here lies a lifeless bride and groom Till death to us part came far too soon Buildings burn and people die all of the time